Welcome to our video on freight broker terminology. In this video, we'll go over some common terms and phrases used in the freight broker industry to help you better understand the business and communicate with carriers and shippers. So let's start with some basic terminology. The shipper. The shipper is the person or the company that needs to transport goods. The carrier is the company that provides the transportation services. In other words, the physical assets to move those goods. And the freight broker is the intermediary between the shipper and the carrier. The load is the freight or cargo that needs to be transported. The lane is the route or direction that a load is traveling. The rate is the price charged to transport a load. The freight class is a classification system used to determine shipping rates based on the type of freight. Deadhead, which is very important to understand, is when a truck travels without a load empty to its next pickup location. It could also be that you have deadhead after you have delivered a load, and this would be in a trucking company's carrier sense that they have to move back to where they started from. A backhaul is a load that a truck takes on its return trip after delivering its primary load. Okay, now I don't like the term backhaul. I'd rather um, call it a head haul there and a head haul back because um, what a lot of freight brokers do is they make it seem that backhauls should be extra cheap just because you got to get back to the city you came from. It's the same operating cost for a trucking company, whether they're going to a place or from a place. So don't get put into this uh, vacuum and think like every other broker, which would be that you should just find companies that will run your freight for super cheap. It will ruin the industry if we have this type of mentality. Accessorial charges. So accessorial charges are additional fees charged for services beyond standard transportation such as loading and unloading fees storage fees and something that's referred to as detention which is waiting time so if you have to wait at a shipper or you got to wait at a consignee uh, a consignee would be a delivery location where you're delivering the freight this could accrue detention or waiting time and this is where you wait past two hours typically industry standards past two hours to get loaded or offloaded at the facility so these are just a few examples of common freight broker terminology that you will be dealing with in the industry by understanding these terms you'll be better equipped to communicate with carriers and shippers negotiate rates and manage your business effectively Please stay tuned for more videos on freight brokering tips and strategies. Also, please subscribe to the channel and you'll find a lot more detailed freight brokerage examples, trucking company carrier examples, and respectively freight forwarding examples on the channel. Thank you very much for staying tuned on this channel for more and more interesting videos about our logistics industry. Thank you.